Here's the problem. I'm too young to vote. I know, I know. You can vote with me. You can help me vote. Well, it's not even time to vote No, yet. no. But when you get the right to vote, when you become 18, it's important that you vote. What's up? Happy Thursday, August 27th. Today is the Duchess Who Wasn't Day. Have you heard the expression, beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Mm, no. So that just kind of means that beauty is an opinion. And even if there's a trend of beauty in one direction or a bunch of people feel that beauty is this, this thing, it's up, it's up to you. You get to choose what's beautiful. It's your opinion that matters to you. If it's beautiful, it can be beautiful too. It doesn't, ha it doesn't matter what other people think is beautiful. It's an important thing to realize because there are going to be things that you think are beautiful or important that other people just are doing their own thing. It's important that you do your own thing. The Duchess who wasn't. The Duchess celebrates the life of Margaret Wolf Hungerford. She wrote a book called Molly Bawn, and that's where we get the expression, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. She's got 57 books that were written, I believe, under the pen name, The Duchess, and even more that were written as anonymous. So she was very prolific, and we barely have cracked the surface, probably, of, of what she's accomplished. <laughs> are you staring? Are you, lens? Are, are you forgetting? Are you still looking at that thing? Mm -hmm. So speaking of people who see things maybe a little different way and kind of do the opposite of what other people are doing, I, this is interesting news. Ryan Reynolds, you don't have to put blinders on. Do you need me to just kind of move the... Yeah. Okay. That's better. Ryan Reynolds is going to produce and be in a new comedy on Netflix called cool. Upstate, which is cool. I mean, I like Ryan, Ryan Reynolds uh, and, and, and news about his movies, but what is even more interesting to me is other recent news that has happened just like last week. Aviation Gin is Ryan Reynolds' company. They sold it to Die Diageo, Diageo? Di Diageo for $610 million. What's so interesting to me about Ryan Reynolds and some of these things is how he does things the opposite of the trends of what you'd expect. Mint Mobile is another thing that Ryan Reynolds has an ownership stake in. He, he was in the middle of making an epic ad, but that because of coronavirus, they just used PowerPoint. See, slides can be compelling. Ooh, thank you, slide. Hilarious this week was he created his own streaming company, Mint Mobile Plus, kind of like Disney Plus. Look up all the genres you want, comedy, romantic comedies, action, and you will always be led to one movie by Ryan Reynolds called Foolproof, one of his maybe worst movies ever. And it's a really good reminder about looking at where the trends are going, where the expectations are going, and going in a completely extreme opposite way. And if you've seen the success of Ryan Reynolds' projects like that, you can see how that works out. When you do things that are completely the opposite of people's expectations, people notice and people talk about those things. So. The joke is. The joke of the day by someone named Tabber, user T-O-B-B-E-R on Reddit. I personally think that beekeeper suits are ugly as heck. But hey. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, like, beholder can't hold bees. <laughs> uh, beekeeper sometimes holds bees, right? Successful ish joke. Successful ish joke. All right. Time for some out school, yeah? What's out school? That's where you're taking this class from. The drawing class is throughout school. Oh. <laughs> if you're anything like us and you're looking for extracurriculars still for your child during the uh, the school year, check out OutSchool. Kind of a new thing I didn't know existed, but they're just a simple platform to like find classes, sort by things like rating, age, the type of program you want. Um, and then they integrate really well with like Zoom and you know, like logging into Zoom calls. I've really enjoyed using them. We're uh, elevating reading up to speed reading now for first graders. I don't have no idea. Funny, funny. Baby. Funny, funny is a new friend. Barney, Barney. 
to my white chair, blurry like me. Let's go.